You may have seen an origin story of your favorite superhero, but what about one of the most annoying insects out there? Gnats. Yes, those little bugs. In Native American folklore, there's an actual story of how they came to be. We go all the way north of Pennsylvania up to Clearfield County, where our story originates from, called Clearfield County, Pennsylvania, Present and Past. Written by a principal named Thomas Lincoln Wall for Boggs Township, published in 1925. He wrote the story, but got the story from the Native Americans in the area. Hundreds of years ago, the Susquehanna was known as Otzinakshun, which in Native American terms meant Demon's Den. Yeah, makes me wonder what they saw to call it that. They believed the whole valley of Clearfield was haunted by various spirits and was the most cursed. Every time they would canoe past the area, they would speed up to get past the area as quickly as they could. Knowing that there was a sorcerer living there and he was believed to be evil. The sorcerer was a Native American that wasn't from any tribe in the area and lived alone in the woods. Mysterious as he was, he would go up to the nearby cliff every night shouting incantations and words of magic, waving his arms around with those words while the other Indians in the area only saw a silhouette of the man. The sorcerer would do this for many years as the Native Americans would row fast past the area. One did not though. A young warrior one day was going down the river and saw the area. Seeing that this was a nice area, with plenty of areas to make shelter, fish, having wildlife, and plants to eat, and of course, plenty of water as well. So he decided that it would be a good place to live. The only thing there that was going to be a problem was the sorcerer. He thought that if the sorcerer found him in his area, he would be cursed and he didn't want any sort of part of that. One night the sorcerer was doing his nightly magic and the warrior came up in the dark, as silent as he could. Seeing how mysterious and dark this wizard was, he almost lost his warrior's courage and was about to retreat. Instead, he raised his bow with arrow in his hand and aimed it right towards the sorcerer. Fire the arrow. The arrow, then flying through the air, hit the wizard in the chest, killing him instantly with his body falling to the ground. Knowing that the sorcerer had strange powers, the warrior didn't want to take any chances with the body just laying there. Thinking there might be a curse upon him by his angered spirit, given the chance, gathering some driftwood and other materials, he made a fire and put the sorcerer's body into it. With keeping the fire blazing, making it larger to dispose the body, the warrior watched in silence as it burned. But suddenly wind blew, and the ashes of the sorcerer's body hit right into the face of the warrior, burning, stinging, and biting the warrior, he yelled from the pain he ensued from the ashes. The ash flew towards the forests and swamps, turning into swarms of gnats, stinging and biting anyone who dared travel into those areas, and then spreading throughout the world. Whether or not this legend is true, it's certain like the Native Americans of the past and the people of today hate gnats and think they're annoying. No thanks to the warrior. Well guys, I hope you liked another Halloween video. We still got a lot more to come and we're still writing a bunch more. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe and the notification button to see videos when I post them. And if you like this video, give it a like button if you can. And I'll see you on the next Halloween video.